Now time to find out about all the sporting events you can look forward to this weekend as Garen Lamley from Sport24 joins us in studio to give his insider report on all the weekend's fixtures, predictions and sporting news. Morning, Garen. Morning, Lizzie. The big one on everyone's mouth uh, and on top of everyone's lips, the Springbok team announcement. Who was left out, what, who was expected to be in the team, who shouldn't be in the team? C correct. You know, this week they named the 30-man squad that will defend, hopefully defend the William Webb Ellis uh, Trophy in New Zealand starting in two weeks' time now. Um, you know, as with many, often the case with these squads, there are always, always a couple of hard luck stories, a few players that are picked from left field, if you like. Odwin Ngani, probably the biggest surprise, the Sharks wing. Yeah. Nobody really saw him being picked. Um, Johan Muller, he's been playing in Ireland this whole season, missed the whole Super Rugby season. He's been picked. Um, a couple of others as well. You know, there were always these hard luck stories. Like I said, Rankowski's out. There, was, there were calls for him. Fran Francois Lowe, also from nowhere. He's off to Bath, but they called him back to play. So it's a very experienced side. 18 of the players actually played in the 2007 World Cup. That should give us some hope. It, it should do. You know, we're going to play this sort of rugby I can see that's going to be very, like, forward orientated. There are no bonus points available in the World Cup. So it's one at all costs. We've actually got the second oldest team, if you like, behind New Zealand. Average age, just under 30. We've got more test caps than any team at the World Cup. So I'm expecting the old heads, if you like, the Victor Matfields, the John Smiths, to re really come to the fore and, and hopefully see us all the way to the final and, and win the trophy at the end. Of course, yes. Yay. <laughs> so I'm very, very excited. It should be good. And uh, there's also the final Tri Nations match, uh, Australia versus New Zealand yeah, this yes. weekend. It kicks off um, tomorrow at 5 past 12 South African time. It's in Brisbane. Winner take all basically in the both tied New Zealand and Australia tied at the top of the table with nine points whoever wins wins the, t the title they play <coughs> sorry they play for the Bledisloe Cup as well mm -hmm. New Zealand have actually already um, retained that for winning the the earlier match between the two sides they've brought back all their star players this is obviously their last chance before the World Cup they want to see combinations Dan Carter Richie McCall back um, Australia have had James O'Connor mm. suspended he missed their, their World Cup announcement um, so he's out but they um, strongest lineups they could possibly field playing. I expect New Zealand to maybe have just enough. They've, like I said, Sonny Bill Williams actually not on, on the, in the starting lineup or even on the bench. Mm. Graham Henry, their coach, came out and said, Ma Nonu is the best centre in the world. Sonny Bill Williams will have to improve his game, which is amazing to South Africans who yeah, see him as one of the best players in the world. So he's not even in, in action. He's probably been kept in cotton wool for the World Cup. I think so. True. And then uh, <laughs> keeping it local, the game between the Sharks and the Golden Lions this it, weekend. It, it, top of the table. Clash. You know, this, this weekend is actually the halfway point of the Curry Cup. The, the Lions are one point ahead of the Sharks. They play each other in, in Durban, oh, sorry, in, in Johannesburg tomorrow. And the Sharks have called back all the box that w weren't included in the, in the box squad. The Lions actually don't have many box at all, but they've got their settled starting 15. Mm. It should be a fantastic game. Actually, I'd, I wouldn't be surprised if the Lions actually, because of their settled um, starting 15, actually win that game, but it will be close. Other big games to look out for, Griquas against the Nemesis, the Free State Cheaters, the whole Bloom Kimberley head-to-head yeah. uh, -head battle. The neighbours. Correct. The Bulls up against the Leopards should have more than enough for them. Mm. And Western Province host, uh, sorry, travelled to Vitbank to play the, the Pumas. And then uh, there's athletics as well, World Athletics the, at the moment. The World Athletics Championship starts in Daegu in South Korea tomorrow. So I've got a couple of medal prospects, but not that many, unfortunately. Kasta Semenya, she's out to defend her 800-meter world title. There have been reports that she's overweight. She's had a fallout with her coach. I'm not she's looking good at the photos I've seen of her. Yeah, so. I, I was quite surprised to see that. She came out and denied all those reports. Yes. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if she's in contention. She, mm. I, I expect her to win a medal. Whether it'll be gold will have to remain remains to be seen. LJ and sell in the 400 meter hurdles he's got a chance obviously everyone's looking out for old Oscar Pistorius mm. he qualified for both these world championships and the Olympics he runs in the in the 400 meters and the 4 by 400 meter relay sure. should be fantastic the 100 meters is always the the marquee event yes. uh, unfortunately Tyson Gay's out Asafa mm. Powell pulled out yesterday it looks like old Usain Bolt's gonna have it all his own way whether he breaks his own world record remains to be seen but it, it's, it should be a fantastic event now you know that we are at Espresso and a lot of people all across the world are busy playing what is called office rugby where right. you've got like five minutes off and you play rugby yes. between each other and I've heard rumors that you guys are playing it in the <laughs> office is we, that true we, we do whenever we can you know you've seen David Brook tank landing and myself we're not the, the backline players if you like <laughs> we're front row forwards and, and lock so we, we, we knock each other around a little bit I want well we want to see videos of you guys doing that absolutely we we'll, do we'll you take because this week <laughs> we've got some videos of our viewers that have sent in some as well so 
we're going to quickly take a look. And thank you so much for sending those in. They're on the screen as we speak. There are uh, a few people in their offices uh, showing us their, their team spirit. But we also want to see videos and uh, someone's daughter as well in the Springbok jersey. But we want to see the spirit. So we're daring you guys from Sport24 to send in your video okay. to uh, okay. win at expressoshow.com. You send in your video of you in your office uh, playing office rugby. It doesn't have to be that long. Three seconds, five seconds, ten second video. And you could walk away with a flat screen TV. That's what's up, up for grabs in our office rugby competition. Now, Garen, thank you so much for Thanks, joining Lisa. us. Great to have you. We'll be catching up uh, with uh, David Brook on Monday at quarter past six, just after quarter past six, with uh, the sports over the weekend. It's now time to go to, over to a different type of sport as bodybuilder Shameen Adams shows us what supplements to use after a workout in order to ensure that your body recovers properly before your next training session. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.